Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. This is gonna be a short and sweet little video. I've been getting the question often, what's on your harness, Alex? So let's get into it. So let me be clear about this. This is really unprepared. I just thought while I was arriving, hey, the question I get often is, what do you have on your harness? So let me show you my main bag, my go-to bag with everything in it, but it switches around a little bit. What I put on my harness, my harness is in it. So let's get it. As you can see, not very well prepared. Let me get the stuff out first. This would be the main bag. Let's open it up. That should be better. All right, CMC Atom Harness. I've been trying it out. Uh, Rado from Rescue in the Netherlands, he lent it to me to try out and give my opinion on it. So far, I like it a lot. It's a bit heavy, but it's very comfortable. So what's on it? It's my backup and ASAP, of course. Let's see, what else do we have? I've got uh, just one knotted cow tail and one not a knotted cow tail, but there's a progress adjust on it. So, other side. So, my right hand side, I usually carry my descenders. Oh, I broke my own rule. I must have wanted to get home quickly. I always close them. At least that's what I tell myself. That's what I don't like about the new rigs, by the way, is that the, with the handle that closes, it always gets into the carabiner. Hard to undo. So, I've got two rigs on here right now. I have my Jumar, like the, 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 the old Petzl one, like with the, the one hole instead of the one big hole. And my foot loop, it's the, like the thin foot, uh, the foot cord. I've got a, I think this is a 4KN or 6KN beaner on it, so I can take it on and off quickly. So that's one side. I have the ASAP as a backup right now. Oh, the good thing about this harness is actually that you can really easily replace the chest ascender to whatever model you want. This is the one that came with it. It's uh, from Climbing Technologies. Nothing, nothing special. I haven't used it that often yet because I only got this harness for a short while ago and on most jobs I have to use the company provided. And then you have to have the jobs where you need to actually use your chest ascender because that doesn't happen that often anymore because we all use the winches these days. But I'm thinking about changing it out for the, I will show you in a minute, the turbo chest from Camp. They're deep. All right, so we have the descenders on one side and usually I only have the newer model. So this is usually in there. And on the other side, where is it? What else do we have here? Well, this is basically the setup I had on my last job, but it changes around what I said. So I don't always have a positioning lanyard right now. I'm using this little setup. I'll get into that a little in a later video about the use of grillons and adjustable lanyards and all that stuff. Uh, and this is the safeguard from Madrock I'm using as a that's the positioning device, I like it a lot. Other things, a little snapper on there. I always have my little uh, foot ascender. It's good when I need to lift stuff. I, put, I don't use my uh, handle to ascender for that. We'll get into that in another video as well. And then on the back side, I carry, I usually have like a little, I call it my rescue set, like the short connection. But it's useful for a lot of things if you need to extend your anchor point a little bit, uh, things like that. Put it back. That's always down in the center. I always know where it is. And then uh, this would be my left, my backside. I have a uh, Rock Exotica pulley. I have a little Courant uh, strop, a Prusik strop that I can use for whatever when I need it. I can make an anchor point with this. I can make a, a Prusik with this. Uh, I can use this combination to get an auto blocking, like a lifting system with a Prostic auto block on it. Uh, I can use it to make a temporary anchor point. I have a secondary backup device, the Aztec duck. I learned climbing with a shunt and stop. So that shunt thing never left my mind, always liked it. And I'm, I'm re really, this is really good as a secondary backup device. It's smaller, it's lighter, and you can use it 
also has a rope clamp. If you need to lift something up, you install this on the rope and you can use your, your little pulley and your little prusik with as, a, uh, as the brake for the pulley. So this would, be, this would be a really good set to have on the harness, I think, if you talk about functionality. Then I got a new, it's brand spanking new because I lost the old one, like the roll clip with a T-block on it. Uh, just a little for whenever you need it, as sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. But I think I can do my whole level three reassessment with what I have on my harness here. Every short link, everything. I think so. It will be a fun challenge. With what, that's the question for you guys. With what I showed you on the harness up till now. I'm not talking about rigging materials, but with all the climbing moves, and maybe I need a rope to lower off someone, but I can do anything. I can do breaking into a tight line. I can do anything with this. So you figure out an exercise that you want me to do with what I have here on the harness, and I'll make a video on it. That's cool. So that's what I have on the harness right now. And before we get into the back, give the video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button to always stay connected and hit that bell button to be notified as soon as I upload a new video. All right, into the bag, we go. What do we have? So I like this. I've been eyeing, th I've been eyeing this bag for a long time. I finally got it just recently. I don't know the durability that yet, but so far the organization is pretty awesome. So this is the stuff that I have in my bag that, I, that switches from the harness. I think with this stuff I can do most of the things. Some is, uh, I have like double because sometimes it's easier to use a protraction instead of a micro traction or something that you put together yourself with the little Phoenix and the Rock Exotica pulley. Let's get into it. So what we, we got this from the harness. Already saw that. I have a little tool back in here. I have my three big scaff hooks that I can put onto my cow tails. Because sometimes I carry three cow tails and right now I'm to two cow tails. I have, uh, yeah, let's start with this. So these are the 120 strops, uh, the rope strops from Courant. I have two 120 slings in here and two 60 strops in here. A couple of carabiner, carabiner, carabiner. In this bag up here, we have some more pulleys. Just pulleys, I like pulleys. We have the roll clip with a gate that can close. Useful for some other little nice neat tricks. So we have a micro traction, which is good. It's a new carabiner, I haven't used it yet. It's the Flint from Skylotech. I got it at Grim Day. And this is my favorite chest ascender, the Turbo Chest by Camp. It's got these little wheels on it. And with that, you can actually sort of use it as a pulley with a blocking mechanism for like 25 or 50 kilos. It's somewhere RTFM, read the fucking manual. Uh, so this, I, sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. Put it back in the spot, in the other one, if I know I need to be lifting a lot. Protraction, this I use sometimes, double rope pulley, double systems, I have a little rigging plate in there, two, actually two headlights right now, one with a clamp for on the helmet and one with a strap. Uh, one of those little secret tricks, sky hook, Beautiful positioning. Let's put this back. Let's put this back. Any extra stuff? If I know, know I need to be lowering a lot, I will use the Freino by Petzl. Beaner, beaner, beaner. What else do we have? Lanyard, uh, like tool lanyards. Elastic. I like these a lot. I've had them for a long, long time. They last forever. Then in this pocket I have an extra foot loop, like the Etrier, the Petzl one, the little ladder. I have one more of the Phoenix drops in there. And then in here, it used to be one of my favorite. I've used it a lot in the past to rig little things like single deviations to position yourself a little bit, to attach tools to to lift stuff into place, like heavy objects, like if you, you're, you're placing dishes in antenna towers or bigger steel construction, like 50 to 100 kilos, you can use it, make a quick four to one and put them in position. You can use it, try 
tie a prosik on a lifting rope just to have something that stops the load from going back down when you're lifting it up in the pulley. The same what I'm doing with the Phoenix right now. So the Phoenix replaced it a little bit. And when I did my first time my level two and I think my first level three as well, I did every single move with this using this as a little, little sort of a uh, set of force you can create real easy with some friction added, but we'll get into a video on the uses of uh, this. And what else? I have one more thing in here, and that's a little throw, what do you call it? Throwback? Yeah, a little throwback. It's the, one of the heavier ones, 12 ounce. I have no idea how heavy it is, but I know it's one of the heavier ones. That can be useful sometimes. So, and then of course, there, on this back, there's a place where you can put the helmet, which is not in there as well. I have a whistle here, and I think that's it. Yep. So that's my bag. Usually I have another Grillon, but it's in a separate bag right now that I was trying. Let me get it. This is a five meter Grillon. I put my uh, chainsaw on it and then it suddenly was shorter. So right now it's like four meter, four and a half meters, but it's a bit long. I have a little trick on it so I can carry it in the harness. But now I've been trying out this bag. Um, it's pretty good, but I just have the thing in here, put it on my harness and I have the excess rope right here in the back. And the little red bag has like leg straps so you can attach it to it. Can be useful if you need it and you know it ahead and you want to be prepared. Otherwise it's a big bag to carry around. That's why I switched to the to this one, the Mad Rock one. Uh, only used it twice so far. It's nice, it's small, it's light, I like it. I cut the rope a little bit shorter as well. So let's a look into my gear bag and my what's on my harness. There's something missing and I can see it in the van, but before I get it, if you want to support the channel, you can head over to Patreon, become a level one patron. And that basically means that when you watch one of my videos, you go sit down, you have your cup of coffee and you buy me one, that's it to show some appreciation for the work I'm putting out. So what else do I have? Well, we're missing a helmet and I always have, depending on the job, but I have two helmets basically. One is with the earmuffs and one is without earmuffs. Uh, one is without ventilation holes and the one is with ventilation holes. Som sometimes things are allowed or not allowed. We all know how the rules are. So that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace.